This is an exciting initiative we want to talk about today uh, in response to the EAB uh, outbreak in Sioux Falls. So I've shared this story before, but I'm, I'm going to pick on Kello for just a second, if that's all right. My, when I got sworn in nearly about six months ago, took my hand off the Bible, swearing it in was over. I went to talk to Kello, and first question they asked is, what's your plan about EAB? And I said, oh, okay. This is going to be a big deal. <laughs> it was the first question that the media wanted to talk about. And I tell you, we have spent the last, uh, not only six months since I've been on board, but uh, the Parks and Rec team has spent the last several years really anticipating uh, the Emerald Ash Borer and what our response to that uh, is going to be. So today uh, I stand in front of you to announce what's called the Sioux Falls Relief Project. A uh, very intentional play on words there. And our plan to relief uh, the city of Sioux Falls uh, based on what's going to be happening in the next several years with the EAB. You know, a quote that I love that I came across not long ago was, a wise person plants a tree for shade in which they will never sit in. And that's the, uh, that's the great thing about this project is we're going to be tapping into the, uh, the private sector and the goodwill of this community to help with this relief effort. So, um, so what, what we're going to be announcing today is uh, an initiative whereby the public will be able to help with the reforestation efforts in Sioux Falls. And we've set a goal of $2.5 million over the next five years of private se sector investments to help with the reforestation efforts in our city, in our parks, as a result of the EAB. Um, the money will go uh, to replanting trees in city parks and other right of ways, and Don is going to uh, share the details on that in a, in a second. You know, it's estimated that we're going to spend around a million dollars per year responding to EAB with tree removals to make up for, uh, for new life. And so we're asking the community to help us replant. So when we talked about uh, the One Sioux Falls framework, which we've been using to make decisions within the city, this fits within that. The city is doing our part, and we're also asking the community to help us with this initiative. And so it's, right now it's estimated about 25% of our tree population in Sioux Falls is ash trees. And so there's going to be a tremendous change in the landscape of our city in the next several years. And I have challenged the city departments to establish some, uh, some BHAGs, or B Big Hairy Audacious Goals that they're going to try and reach over the next several years. And I would say trying to get $2.5 million in private funding over the next five years for forest or reforestation efforts is certainly a BHAG. And so there's several groups that have been a part of this and have come together to make this collaboration work. First off, um, you know, with, with the branding efforts of this and the naming of this, uh, we needed to tap into a good marketing partner. And Lawrence and Schiller has been a real great partner with the city on helping us roll this out, not only the brand, but the website and the other pieces that the community will be able to utilize to uh, assist in this initiative. But the Sioux Falls Community Foundation is, uh, is going to be the, the conduit for any donations for this reforestation effort. So people will be able to give tax-deductible gifts to the Sioux Falls Community Foundation, and those funds will be used to uh, replace the, the trees. Uh, we've already had several lead donors that have stepped up and said they want to be part of this. Um, the, uh, the Heidemann family has stepped up with a very uh, substantial gift that they said they're willing to make. Uh, Craig Lloyd is stepping up with a gift from this. Um, Landscape Garden Centers has, the day EAB was announced, has said, how can we help? Uh, and they are stepping up to help with this. So it's been great to see all these community members step up to want to help with the reforestation efforts in Sioux Falls. I just came from a group that I spoke with at Trail Ridge and talking about trees, and I, I shared this with them. I said, um, in people's uh, kind of uh, order of importance, you have their family, you have their pets, and then you have their trees. And so trees are very sacred to a lot of folks. And so um, very proud of this initiative. You know, we sometimes overuse the term public-private partnership, but I very much see this as a collaborative effort between the private sector, between citizens, between the city of Sioux Falls, to make sure that, yeah, while we're going to lose some trees and a substantial amount of trees in this, we're also taking the right steps to make sure our reforest, uh, reforestation efforts are successful um, and that we, uh, we move forward with this. So with that, uh, I'm also like to, uh, to turn it over to Don Carney. Don's our Director of Parks 
uh, in rec here in Sioux Falls, and he has a few more things to add to the plan as well as uh, answer any questions that you may have for him uh, or for myself when he's done. Don? Thank you, Mayor. Um, as many of you know, uh, in 2019, we'll be spending a considerable amount of time uh, working on removals where we're planning over the next 10 years uh, to reduce the number of ash trees that are out there, uh, primarily for public safety. Uh, as the mayor mentioned, uh, he, along with the city council, have uh, uh, dedicated quite a few resources, over a million dollars a year for the removals, so that we make sure we have a, a safe community because when the, once these ash trees die, uh, become, they become brittle and become a safety uh, issue uh, for our community. And so uh, we've launched that process. We're removing trees in our city parks. But we're also now uh, working with the private property owners and their street trees to identify those for removal in 2019. And that really sets us up for this reforestation or the relief project uh, because what we really will want to start doing then is, is to replant street trees uh, along uh, our, our residents' homes, but also start for the replanting in our city parks. Uh, we've got over 40,000 uh, street trees and park trees that are out there. It makes, makes up a huge portion of our uh, population with ash trees. And uh, so one of the things we're going to want to diversify with this relief program. And so uh, it seems like every time there's a challenge or there's uh, an issue to be tackled here in Sioux Falls, it always seems like Sioux Falls uh, finds a way to step up. And so uh, just really proud, as the mayor mentioned, about uh, launching this new initiative, uh, appreciative of those that have come forward and said, hey, we'd like to help. And we just want to uh, continue to create a conduit through the Sioux Falls Area Community Foundation for them to help us um, uh, raise those dollars so that uh, Sioux Falls 10, 15, even 50 years from now uh, can, can look as beautiful as t is today. Mm -hmm.